Hello, my name is Trey Shan, and uh, I live in Portland, Oregon, and I used to own the X-Ray Cafe. Yeah. And uh, from 1990 to 1994, yeah, I'm not introducing myself here, okay? But I thought that I should introduce myself before I introduce who I'm going to introduce. But between 1990 and 1994, this uh, next uh, duo, group, band, uh, people uh, played my club, and uh, I got to know them kind of periodically through that. Including, I think mostly I had one of the best times uh, with one of them during the uh, International Pop Festival at Olympia in 92. That's when I really felt like I'm really friends with these darn Canadians. And uh, the thing with the Canadians are they're great. The Canadians always have been great. They've, they've, they've been funny, they've been smart, and they get it. They're clever. They really are. They really, really, really are. It's true. So, uh, it just, it, it, it's their 25th anniversary, I mean, 1990, 94, that was only like, you know, what, 13, 15, 19 years ago or something. So they were doing this shit for 10 years before I ever met them. And uh, I just think that's incredible. I, I didn't even really know that until right now. So um, it just gives me, it just warms the cause of my heart and fucking just kicks ass because I love these two people. Uh, please put your hands together and give them a warm policy and welcome. Uh, from Vancouver, British Columbia, Mecca Normal. I had no idea about what it was, <laughs> I want to say anything, but about uh, being in a band. Uh, I'd it was just all something to do, really. We didn't have any, we didn't have any idea what, what was going to happen, and um, that makes it sound like something incredible happened. Well, the only incredible thing that happened was we just kept going. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. We're joined now by Mecca Normal, a band from Vancouver once described as a pioneering anarchist feminist literary punk rock duo. When someone believes in me the way I believe in you, that means there's no money to make the film. Not yet. Then what are we doing? Doing it anyway. We're doing it anyway. Are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? How did it strike you when Mecca Normal first popped up in your in your world? Yeah. It seems like that was uh, that one tour of November 1987 when you guys came to uh, Eugene with uh, um, Spookin' the Zombies and the Go Team. Um, Sorry, what was the question? Yeah, just just say anything. Yeah, I remember distinctly when I first saw Mecha Normal. I saw Mecha Normal um, at this uh, basement gig um, in New York at the downstairs. This was a uh, yoga studio, and it was with uh, you guys, Galaxy 500, uh, Go Team, Sunville Sidewalk, maybe? Is that true? Yeah. 
I'm not making that up. Okay, so that was yeah. <laughs> so that was it in that crazy um, kind of uh, you know put together ad hoc show in the basement of a yoga studio. And, um, you guys were pretty rough back then. Pretty grating and loud. And, and, well, it wasn't. It couldn't be loud enough, but you had this intense energy that was pretty. Uh, you guys were on fire. And, uh, and then I think that I. I actually had to uh, kind of acclimate to your sound. Came okay, more. I had to, um, you know, keep going back and uh, seeing the performance over and over. And uh, slowly get, getting it. And have you got it yet? No. <laughs> there, there are people who get in front of people and then things happen. And that's Mechanorm. And so as long as there are people, as long as there are people for Mechanormal to speak to, they will continue to be relevant. Kathleen Hanna, who founded the band Bikini Kill, once said, quote, lyrically, Jean Smith of Mecca Normal was really poetic and had feminist ideas at the core of a lot of her songs, and she wasn't ashamed of it. She wrote a song about street harassment and the male gaze, and when I saw her, I was just like, that's it. I'm done. I'm sold. So uh, those were two new ones, so now we're going to do one that we wrote in 1984. And it came out on our first album, which we put out after doing approximately one show, because we didn't know that you weren't supposed to go down to the pressing plant and make yourself an LP after you'd done your one show. <laughs> but it turned out to be, uh, well, well, actually, the people in our community just thought we hadn't paid our dues and that this was, you know, just a bad, bad move that we made. Uh, we used some limited distribution and got the LP up to some universities in Canada, the radio stations there. In Edmonton, it went to number one. I got this two pieces of mail in the in the box one day, and it was the record number one of the radio station. Then the adjoining publication reviewed it and said it was the worst record ever made. <laughs> it was confusing and interesting, but we knew we were on to something. Now walk, now walk alone. It was really a reaction to what was going on in the music scene in Vancouver, which we were part of by being regulars at a lot of punk shows. And so women are telling truth about their lives, and sometimes what that truth comes out as is anger. In Mecca Normal's song, I Walk Alone, Jean Smith screams that it should be her right to go anywhere without the fear of being raped or harassed. Because it's my right to walk anywhere at any time of day, wearing whatever the fuck I want to. This 
as far as becoming a, a performer and getting on stage, Dave had been in bands before, and uh, he was. I suggested that he start a band and that he get an oboe player. I think I was just joking, but he found some people and told me how it went, and I and I thought it sounded pretty ridiculous, so I volunteered to come over and uh, sing. And he handed me a potted plant to throw out onto the back pathway of his the house he lived in, kind of at the attic level. So we stepped out on a little tiny balcony and he just belted out and threw the plant down onto the some scrawny little villagendron or something, you know, just the smashing of the clay pot and then came back in and <laughs> you know, so here we went, right? So the pe the first song that we ever created together was called Conform. You don't have a choice, there isn't a question. We know it's right, don't try and fight. Conform, conform. No career, have a baby. Conform, conform. Red Cross and Mecha Normal. Mecha Normal has been described as a punk band. It's the book's almost a punk fiction non version. Well, it's got those elements to it because it is, you know, the sort of do-it-yourself thing. David published it, and um, I'm not a, an educated writer, even though I say an educated, not a educated. I, I don't actually have, a, you know, any sort of formal training in writing. So it's a matter of just taking hold of uh, the written language and jumping in and expressing ideas and concepts that I think are worthwhile and interesting and important. My thoughts are chased by dogs, trapped in insomatic snapshots. Their eyes are red and light. I go out and totally research bands with any women in them and go out and see them. It was a novelty almost. And if there were women who were actually speaking their mind and being totally forward and aggressive in the punk rock context, everybody knew about it and it was, you know, mm -hmm. unusual. But now there, there are just women all over the place creating bands and uh, no matter who's going to label it whatever, there's no way that it can be seen as a negative thing. And when this whole Riot Girl label dies down, the ideas behind this this version of feminism don't go away. You know, it's been built up in some sense of frenzy, and then I'm sure it will be ripped apart in some form or another by the media. But it's, I think, wise to remember that these ideas have been around for a long time, and they will be around long after this particular labeling disappears. Stop it with the gun. Was the philosophy of hers more than a request? But right now, she likes the kids to quit it. He has a sound equipped machine gun pointed at her head. Pointed at her head. The dogs have questions for me. The dogs have questions for me. <laughs> Whatever, just just give me a block of something enthusiastic about Mecha Normal. Give me a quote. Mecha Normal is. Or start something with the two options. Well, it was so exciting because, like, uh, Dave would play guitar like it was a whole band playing guitar. It was so really powerful. Um, okay, you're about to get you're about to get off the hook here, man. Yeah, it's not working. <laughs> I don't know. Just say something vibrant about anything. Oh my God! 
<laughs> no, Mech Normal is amazing, and like so many people I know be like, what's the deal with Mech Normal? Uh, but no, but I would meet people that I would, in other respects, I think these are nice, intelligent, sensible people. But then they'd be like, wait, what's the deal with Mecha Normal? Are they joking? You're done. <laughs>